Las Vegas discount dot net's the best there is. Save up to 50% on your next Vegas trip. And travel, rental, shows, and tours. Find the deals you're looking for. Las Vegas discount dot net. Las Vegas discount dot net. If you're going to Vegas for deals that are the best, visit Las Vegas discount dot net. This is Brock Lesnar, and you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Yo, hi, this is Sugar Ray Leonard, and you listen to Fight Net Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to listen to Fight Net Radio. Lee Harvey Oswald, what's your name? How am I supposed to know you? This is Frank Shamrock. We're listening to Fight Net Radio. Hi, this is Mia, the Knockout St. John. You're listening to Fight Net Radio, and there's no way I would ever touch Lee. This is Chuck Jack Vivadell. Hi, I'm Stephen Bonner, and you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Yeah, Henderson, you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Everybody, welcome to Fight Net Radio, <laughs> where Lee's burning every <laughs> bridge there is out there. All right. Hi, this is Manny Pacquiao. I'll fight anybody on Fight Network. But it's a fact. You know what I mean? I, how dare them even challenge me in these fighters? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? With their primitive boxing skills. You know what I mean? They're as good as dead. Hello? Hey, hold on, Lee. It's Willie. <laughs> what do you want, bro? 700 to win bro. Okay. Send me a photo, please. Steelers, crap. Tell him I want the uh, login instructions for the FightNet radio. Uh, Instagram FightNet login. You haven't sent it yet. We'll send it, please. Okay, we'll find it. I got to go. I'm doing a show. Hi, everyone. Welcome to FightNet radio. Lee Hunter, Andrew Love, Shay. I recorded all that. It was awesome. Babies in the background. Yeah, there's still a baby in the background. No coffee. I'm waiting for my my sec. Well, it's my second cup, third cup, however you want to say it. Hi everyone, but- welcome to Fight Net Radio. Lee Hanish, Andrew Labache. Uh, what you just listened to is real life. That's Andrew at home. That's Willie, one of our former co-hosts. I guess he's a roving co-host since he just snipers me when I'm in Vegas. Bro, where are you at? <laughs> uh, where do you want me to be? Well, I figured you'd be at the fight. Okay, I'm in Vegas. What do you want to do? All right, I'll text you. And then I never hear from him. <laughs> how, how, how close was that to nailing that situation? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, uh, that's so it, great. He, had it, he has it a little worse. What did, what did Willie pull off three kids in like three years? <laughs> they're he, all, he was, they're, she's never not been pregnant. Yeah, they were all back to back to back. I mean, since I've met him, she's never not been pregnant. <laughs> Like, Chris has at least had some periods where you didn't put a hand on her. Yeah, that was a prank. Man. <laughs> so, yeah, he's got her. He's going to be having it rough for a few years here. That's hilarious. Hi, Actually, everyone. for the next 18, but, yeah, go ahead, Lee. Hi, hi everyone. We talk about boxing on this show. Uh, Andrew is a beat writer, fan, former amateur boxer. I am a professional stuntman. I don't really know what it is that I do. Uh, my job is to read the news and then say something funny about the news. Occasionally, I write some funny stuff about the news. But what I'd like you to do is follow me on Twitter. And that way, you're up to date on everything, at Lee Honish. Or you can go on Facebook. You can follow uh, Andrew, at La- Andrew Labache. You can follow me. You can follow uh, Bobby Capucci, at Bobby Capucci, who's in the middle of a 16 16- and a five-team parlay. Is that what the teaser is? is yeah, that also what a teaser is? He's on his second week in a row of doing multi-team teasers where he's getting paid. Yeah, I seen him put that up, right? And I didn't know I didn't know if a teaser is a parlay or what. That's huge, That's though. If he... Yeah, those, uh, a six-team and a five-team. He did it last week. So all you have to do is sign up for Fight Net Radio, right? You get a Wednesday bonus show with Bobby Capucci. We talk MMA, grappling, 
I talk about two minutes worth of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Bobby's and that's to- another thing, Lee. I was going to say, follow Fightnet Radio because that's where you're going to get content out. Yeah, that's where you're going to get most of it. Yes, sir. Fightnet Bobby- Radio on Facebook. We have a great page, uh, and I want to thank all the people who follow it. I think I just hit something crazy like 20,000 followers on Twitter or something insane. So uh, I appreciate all, all of you. Uh, I appreciate all of you who follow the Facebook page. Andrew enjoys it. Uh, uh, Guillermo. God, I could go all the way back. We've got uh, literally a who's who of people who've worked on this show to make this show where it is today. And we're still around. We're still talking boxing. It is the backbone. We've expanded it to one additional show on Wednesdays. Uh, Bobby's been great. He's always been around Wednesday afternoon. So the show continues. He's in the middle of playoff baseball, and he's having a good time talking about it. So this show's about boxing, and we're going to talk about boxing, and then we're going to get out of here. Are you the morning or the afternoon game, Andrew? Afternoon game, and it's a big one, Lee. So, yes, let's get who, it rolling Who are you here. losing to this week? We got to win. It's a must Dude, win Dude, you don't have Raiders. a quarterback. I, a that's grip. why it's a must win. Get a grip. Oh, no, Lee, listen. We Dude, lose I'm today. facing an 0-14. Oh, by oh, the way, yeah, for those of you who don't done. know, I am a Chargers fan. Chargers. Andrew is a Raiders fan. I'm also a Rams fan, but I can't qualify that yet until they actually win something. I gave up on them last year. Uh, and for those of you who wonder, Bobby Capucci's a Jets fan, which is even funnier than being a Raiders fan or a Chargers fan. Right, right. Chargers, right. Jets fans get anally raped harder than either of us, by far. And trust me, Andrew's had some crap seasons that I have enjoyed talking football. Oh, my God. Yep. Definitely got to win, Lee, because then you might be forcing Derek Carr to make a decision that you don't want him to make, right? Like coming back early. So hey, you don't this want that. is important. Today's important. If you're wondering uh, historically what my favorite period of talking football and boxing has been, it's when the Chargers won five, went to the playoffs five years in a row, and Andrew's team wound up in dead last place five years in a row. Yeah, that, was that, is, that is as good as it got for me. In fact, I enjoyed it so much to celebrate it. I went up to the black hole and saw a game while the Chargers were still halfway decent and watched the Chargers beat them in the black hole. I can die now. That As a Chargers fan, they were still San Diego. They go up to the black hole. They won in the black hole. I watched Andrew's fans melt down. And I got to see the bullet holes from the infamous parking lot shooting. They will be. There they will be. The San Diego Chargers again. Stop it. I don't know what they're going to do, right? They can't even they're, drive. They're they can't drive yeah, twenty three thousand. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I they don't want to drop get the prices. Into it, but I, I believe they're going back one day, Lee. They uh, will. Burn. I'm actually because they still got four or five games in that place. I'm going to see if I can get a deal on tickets for the rest of the season. Lee, I heard they had to tarp some seats the last week. That's, no, they don't have to do. I mean, they're all technically a sellout. Like season seats Lee, have sold the not event. What they're saying up here, but okay. Yeah, it's the same bullshit you guys do. Right, 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 right. right. You just tarp off a section. It's all good. But I know. We do we just, ta- for anybody listening, we do talk boxing. And we I don't know, talk about people. Babies. We're going to get into it. Well, hey, it's Lee, football Lee, season. One more, one more knock on the Raiders. You want to know why I hear they can't take those tarps off now? Why? Uh, they're saying the plumbing can't hold up the stadium anymore. So uh, they had to they had Dude, eliminate- at least you have plumbing. I get, this is the question I get all the time as a Chargers fan. Here's stadium, the question people. I get all the time as a Chargers fan. Who has the worst stadium? By far it was San Diego because I've been to San Diego and I've been to the Black Hole. Those are the the worst and the second worst stadiums in the NFL by far, uh, followed closely by the L.A. Coliseum now. L.A. Coliseum is at least clean and pfft, the, the sight lines are really good at the Coliseum. They don't ever talk about that. But the seats are really awful. Now, here's the All thing, right. Andrew. Your place is clean. You don't have to stand in a foot of people's piss, you know, in the bowels of your stadium. Like, the one thing that I noted about oh, your place. Do. Your no, hotel. No, no, no. no, look, your your stadium was clean. That was the one thing that stood out to me. Well, maybe maybe because they eliminated 30,000 seats. Um yeah, I'm telling you, the plumbing's really bad. That's that's the knock. Oh, our the plumbing fingers. was horrible in San Diego. It's sad. Uh, I didn't know that. So you guys have the same issue over yeah, there. Yeah, right? you'd stand yeah, and pee. We'd go use the porta potties. In fact, when you two played there, I just went. <laughs> I just went and saw you two. So I went and saw you two at Qualcomm, right? 
So to, to make the concert not awful, they put outside vendors that brought in food trucks. They have to do that because they can't prepare enough food for 50,000 people. And they brought in a bunch of porta potties. I mean, that's crazy at a stadium. Yeah. yeah. I mean, right. that's what they're doing right now for the Rams. I Look, at least they're smart with the Rams. They know they're going to be there for five years. You should see this stadium they're building, Andrew. You're, the, if the Rams can continue to play at this level... He's a billionaire. Look, Billi- I'm going to say it again. This stadium is unbelievable. It's it's going to be completely insane. But I digress. We will talk about... Uh, we're going to talk about uh, boxing. Yes. Sir. There isn't much to talk about in boxing, but we're going to try to fill the next 30 to 45 minutes of talking boxing for you to entertain you. As I said before, he is the beat writer. I am the professional asshole. We try to do the show as clean as possible, but it does eventually go sideways. Viewer discretion is advised. Ant Corolla, at Ant Corolla, at A-N-T-C-O-R-C-R-O-L-L-A. Uh, I, know his Insta- I know his actual Twitter following. Don't ask. He beats Burns. He beat Ricky Burns. Manchester Arena, England. Scores 116, 113, 117, 112, 116, 114. Great. Uh, yeah. I, again, yeah, again, we've talked about it a million there. times. We're talking about Eddie Hearns, the greatest promoter on the planet, right? Putting on an, an, another amazing card out in England, and he gets exactly what he wants out of Corolla and Burns. He did. You know, this this fight was... I think the main event going into the week until um, that super middleweight um, press conference where between uh, Eubank and um, what was the opponent's name that he fought? The Turkey, the guy from Turkey. His promoter went insane. Yildrum. Yildrum. Yildrum? Yildrid- yeah. Yildiridium. Um, that sounded good, Yildrum. His promoter went insane in the press conference. Yes, he did. And, uh, told t- uh, one of the managers of Chris Eubank he wanted to fuck his wife in their bed. Yeah. Um, went after him. Hey, Lee, it, like, turned into the greatest insult ever. I, I think it-, it should, if you ever want to fight a man, you should literally look him in his eyes and say, I will fuck your wife in your bed. That that should be enough to, to You'll get enough out of him, for yeah, sure. Right? That's going to get the fight you want. <laughs> That boy definitely wanted to throw blows saying that to him. Uh, it, it went viral. It took over the internet. And I think Corolla versus Burns got thrown to the side. Yeah, it's a um, shame because it was, a, again, a 7-5 to five fight. No argument on Corolla's victory. But they got Rick what they Burns wanted out of the fight. On the downside, yeah. Burns has been on the downside. Um, so Corolla was, was the favorite going in. It's not, not a surprise he won a close fight out there. Um, looking at both records, though, are they going to be a, a big presence in the lightweight here? Probably not, because there's some excellent fighters in the top ten of the, the lightweight division. So, uh, just uh, just another journeyman fighter for the lightweights. Uh, well, I, I think Ricky Burns is retiring. Actually, I, I As believe. He should. As he I should. believe he said that going in. If he didn't win this fight, he was probably going to hang him up. Which takes us to the drama that is. The super middleweight Chris Next Gen Eubanks Jr. scoring a brutal third round knockout of the previously unbeaten Avni Mr. Robot Yildrum. You did look like a robot. As part of the World that Boxing Super Series. That yes, the fight. Eubanks was on him all day. It did start with the press conference, it did go viral. Uh, I don't know what was up with Yildrum's uh, manager to want to elicit such a response. He out of said, a fighter? Lee, I guess what he was mad about was the Eubank team uh, wasn't promoting the fight, I believe, in Yildrum's country uh, as much as they wanted where, to. Well, I'm sorry uh, that... I know, it's Turkey. I know. I know where you're going Fuck, with do this. they have TVs? Well, there's the first <laughs> F-bomb. Do they have TVs in Turkey? Yeah, I'm sure that's what Eubank, Chris Eubank, and them were saying. You I would have like, said what, that. What is it really going to bring us? What What's the benefit other than you guys getting to become superstars in your home country? Right. There's there's no drama to this whatsoever other than you're from Turkey. That guy might have had some big sponsors lined up that didn't come through because Eubanks didn't show. And he was pretty pissed off about it, though. Uh, this, this man is not only the promoter, he's also the, uh, the fighter's trainer. And... Um, 
Yeah, you know the the nickname Robot. Uh, 